These may be the faces of tomorrow's aerospace scientists, engineers, aircraft designers, or future leaders. There's some of 3,500 students competing in TARC, the Team America Rocketry Challenge. Students from all over the country build rockets, and the finalists come to compete. The Aerospace Industry Association and our member companies are here to give these kids perhaps their first aerospace experience, to really champion them, and to come out and meet them, to put a human face on our industry. These students aren't just talented in science, engineering, and math. They really enjoy it. My favorite classes are the math class and my aerospace class. I like science. I'm taking AP Calculus. Students with science and math skills are in decline in the U.S. TARC brings attention to the problem by championing students with science and engineering interests. I like TARC because uh, it's a really good exercise with my skills I've learned in uh, class. I'm a very hands-on learner. It gives us the opportunity to put the math and the chemistry and the physics all together. TARC is one of the largest science competitions in the world. Popularity and media exposure is growing. Teams work hard to get to TARC, but they don't do it alone. Teachers, parents, and team mentors help guide the way. It's a great opportunity to give back and provide a role model at, at some level for the next generation of kids. They really can do something that they had no idea uh, that that was possible. It's very goal-oriented, it's very teamwork-oriented, it's very detailed. And have it all come down to a moment like this at a competition like this that they've worked six months for, some longer. And the excitement is palpable. You can just walk on the field and feel something really cool is about to happen. The Rocketry Challenge um, involves designing, building, and flying a rocket. We try to keep the rocket to last within 40 to 45 seconds of flight. This year's challenge was to fly to 750 feet. And in your payload, you have one raw egg that has to survive the flight. And if it gets broken at any time during the flight, you are disqualified. It's really uh, encouraging to see so many uh, people in the next generation who have an interest in aerospace. And, and who really are going to form not only the leadership of our industry in decades to come, but quite frankly, the leadership of our country. But not every team can end up on the podium, but every team that gets to TARC is a winner. Because we know from experience that kids who have done this are better prepared to make better employees than ones who haven't. Challenge drives the aerospace industry. It always has, and it will continue to, with a new generation of students eager to become America's future aerospace leaders.